Hello everyone. Welcome to A Tech One, an online training and consulting company where we empower individuals like you to unlock their full potentials and achieve their goals. Let me introduce myself first. My name is Sumit, and I am a subject matter expert with AITech1.com for sales. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate to you that how do we access the Salesforce flows using REST API. All of you are familiar with flows in Salesforce, and you have gone through my previous videos on Salesforce flows, where I've explained how do we create the record triggered flow, the uh, screen flows, the auto launch flows. So this video is about the Salesforce flows, which we can access through REST API. And in order to demonstrate this example, I have created one uh, example. I have created one platform for you. And what, what I'm going to cover here is, uh, as you can see, I got a position object. And in this position object, there's one report called Python developer. That's a, that's a ongoing position. So you can say that's the upcoming current openings in my company. And we are going to uh, receive the job applications for this particular position. So the requirement here is that by using flows, we are, with the help of REST API, we will be going to access, we'll be going to extract the numbers of job applications we have received for this particular positions. So as you can see, for this Python developer, we used to have four job, we have received four job applications still so far. So we would like to uh, we would like to know these numbers by using REST API. And for this, the first thing I have done here is I have created a flow. So let me let me tell you that what flow we are going to create. So whenever whenever you click on new flow, when you click on a new flow, it will open a flow builder. And out of this flow, you will be getting an option to create a flow for auto launch flow no trigger. So you have to use, you have to select this flow, auto launch flow, no trigger. You need to select this first. And once you select this auto launch flow, no trigger, and click on create. So you have to add the, uh, you need to, uh, you need to use this flow. And in order to demonstrate this, I have already designed a flow. So let me explain you that flow. Now in this flow, I have created two variables. One is the application counter and one is the position record ID. So let me show you this first. What is this position record ID? The purpose of this position record ID is that from the REST API, we will be going to pass the record ID for the position record ID, whose number of job applications we would like to extract. So this position record ID is a data type. It's a variable. It's a, it's a variable whose data type is text. And uh, I just said the available outside the values, set availability outside the flows as available for input. So that means this variable is ready to get input from the external APIs. And another variable I have created here is the application counter. So this is also a variable, but this time this variable data type is a number data type. The default value I set is zeros, and I just make it available for output. So what the purpose of input and output means, input is to get inputs from the APIs, and output is to revert the values back to the APIs. So you can see, uh, position record ID set as available for input and application record application counters available for output. And after that, I created one get record. Basically, this you have to create a get record. And in this get record, what I have done in this get record, I'm going to fetch the records from the job application based on uh, I just had a condition here based on the position name equals to the position record ID. And this record ID we will be going to pass to our uh, we'll be using a workbench or through Postman. So we can use any API tool in order to test, in order to test it. So I will be going to use workbench for this. And there will be no sorting. And I would like to fetch all the records and just leave, uh, leave the settings as the default settings as it is. After that, I'm, uh, I just iterate loop. I just iterate to the job application records, to the extracted job application records. And here I just write the collection variable as set as job application for position. And I just want it, the direction will be set as first item to the last item. And this is just a loop actually. So when you click on add elements, you will get an option called loop. So I use the same uh, loop element in order to iterate 
on the job application records. Now, once the loop is added, uh, we have to increment this application counter by one. So I just increment it by one. I set the application counter at one. It keeps on incrementing one by one till the uh, till this job application, uh, basically this loop iterates. So this is the whole process. Then I simply save this and I'm going to activate that because in order to invoke, in order to access this flow from the REST API, we have to activate it. So I have activated this. Now let me show you that how are we going to test this flow or how do we access this flow from an API. So I just log into workbench.developerphones.com. You all are familiar with Workbench. It's a testing tool for the API. And here I read our to REST Explorer. And in this REST Explorer, the URL service and uh, service slash data version 56. So I'm, I just add few things here like add actions, custom flow, okay, actions slash custom slash flow. And this is the flow name. So in order to get the flow name, so job application flow, uh, we can just open that job application. Uh, this is a job application counter flow. So I have view details and versions. And so we got two, we'll be having two versions for this flow. See version one, version two. I copy this API name, this application counter, and I add this flow name here, application counter. And because uh, if you remember within a flow, we have one input variable, uh, position record ID is the input variable, which will be waiting for the input. Uh, and because that input variable we used here in order to fetch the records, we, are, we will be using that input variable here. So therefore, here I just add, uh, I just make a post request by uh, adding a value like this for inputs, position record ID, this, and make sure that this variable you are passing here, this should be same as the parameter should be same as this. So you can copy the position record, that's the same parameter position record ID and this is the record ID and this record ID is my position for this Python developer. So I'll copy this position ID and paste it here. And when we execute this, we'll get the expected outcome and you can see we are getting the, we can see show, show raw response. The response is 200. Okay. That means the process is executed successfully and I'm getting the application counter is four. That means the flow has executed successfully. If we expand this output values, it is application counter is equal to two. Let me test it for another position record. Uh, for example, sales manager, and this is a record ID. This is a position record ID, and I'm going to pass this record ID here. And when we and when we click execute, let's see item one and see there is there are how many only one job application. Let's check it out. So for this sales manager, how many job applications we have received? We have received only one job application. So like this way, we can access the flow from an API. Now here I have I have tested it by using Workbench. You can test it by using Postman, or we can invoke it by any external APIs wherever you will be going to use the API. So that's the way we can access the flow. Uh, the REST flow, basically the API, uh, we can we access the flow by using REST API or by, by, by external APIs. That's all for the day. Uh, if you have any custom, uh, if you have a custom training requirement on Salesforce, you can reach out to us on info at the rate AITech1.com or you can visit our website www.aitech1.com for more detailed information about the course, we, the training we are offering. If you have any consulting requirement, then you can reach out to us on these numbers. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to get more updates on uh, new updates on Salesforce and other technology. You can also press the bell icon to get the uh, to get the update to get the latest updates on the videos we are going to post. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.